a young guy, I served in the British Army. I was a Royal Engineer. I joined at 16 years old, straight from school. And at the age of 19, I was knocked off a motorbike. I ended up with two broken legs. Some complications arose because of that, and I ended up losing one of my legs. I served in the parachute squadron of the Royal Engineers, and I was also a diver. So I knew there and then, during the accident, there was no more parachuting, no more diving for me. Having a prosthetic leg, you, you are very dependent on other people getting you comfortable. And I realized that's how it's going to be because my leg is always going to cause challenges. There's, there's more questions than answers when you lose a leg. No group of amputees have ever swam the channel as a cohort. But there were some unique challenges for us uh, being amputees which we became aware of quite quickly, and that related to water temperature. The swimming in cold water caused what was left of our legs to behave quite badly. And I think then I realized that the biggest challenge for me was going to be the cold. You get in the water and you, you just can't do anything. You're gasping for breath. You can't swim properly. There's no technique for, for a little while. And I didn't feel like I was swimming efficiently because the waves were throwing me around and you look up and you get a mouthful of water rather than fresh air. I've never really suffered from seasickness before. Pretty much I had my head in the bucket or over the side of the boat from the first half an hour until you know, 12 hours later. If I had dropped out, we would have all dropped out, so that couldn't happen. But I had to dig quite hard, and particularly the last swim, um, um, when I, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't drunk for about 10 hours, that so the last swim was quite challenging. You don't get a lot of propulsion from your legs. Even with one and a half legs, there's not a great deal of propulsion. It's mostly coming from your arms. So the leg is almost a rudder and it just stabilizes you. And you tend to find very quickly the arms are becoming strong and your shoulders are becoming very strong. It's, it's mostly upper body work. Blesma had a huge part to play in my rehabilitation. It seems such a long way away when you're laying in hospital bed and it's just hurting to move over and scratch yourself. And I think that's what Blesma delivered to me in the first couple of years was this huge boost of confidence just to be able to get back into normal life, back to normal sport, back to education and just to get on. And the fact that you have a prosthetic leg is secondary to everything else. Everybody had difficult swims. Everybody really had to give an awful lot. Um, and not just me, but touching down, combat touching the rock, uh, 12 hours and 14 minutes was absolute elation.